start of tonight's show in Senegal, it has raised $300 million by reopening a bond issued back in June, and that's to help cover financing needs for the 2024 budget. After the International Monetary Fund delayed disbursements due to uh, the findings of an audit. Now, the transaction, which was underwritten by JP Morgan, involves the country's privately placed bond that will mature in 2031. It also came with a hedge against foreign exchange fluctuations, allowing it to attain an interest rate of 6.33%. The government there decided not to go ahead with Senegal's request for an IMF disbursement after an audit revealed that the country's debt and budget deficit were much wider than the previous administration had reported. The government now intends to enter into discussions with the IMF to establish a new program aligned with the objectives of stabilizing its macroeconomic framework. Well, joining us now with some more insight into this from Abuja, Professor Ken Ife, uh, an economic consultant, of course, based in Lagos, uh, joins us. Great to have you with us on the show, Professor. Let's start off with what made uh, this latest bond issue uh, appealing to investors, especially in light of that revelation that the country's debt and its budget, budget deficit were much wider than previously thought and than the previous administration had reported. What's your take on what excited investors? One, I don't expect the private sector to punish a government, a new government, a new administration for being honest and then pointing out flaws in the old economy. It, they could have hidden the same thing. For them to say that they, their debt was overblown, that is, the fiscal deficit was overblown, and then corrected it, and you know, you shouldn't punish them for that. Secondly, the uh, it talks about integrity. Secondly, the previous bonds they are issued, the euro bond of in June, was for 250 million and 500 million, 750 million in total, and they went for for 7.7 percent. Now. This one, they, they reopened now for, for 300 million, even went for a lower interest rate of 6.33, and they were still oversubscribed. And of course, they hedged it as well. And so when you went, private sector like to deal with very honest uh, administration, and if you look at their target, $30 billion in 25 years, realistic. Yeah. And all the fundamentals are positive. And you can see their expected growth rates are revised uh, down from 7.1 to 6.1 percent. That's higher than most African countries. Mm. So there are a lot of things going for Senegalese economy, and I don't expect that the public se private sector will want to punish them for that. But even then, the no economy should in the, in the middle range should be expected to go away empty-handed. They have to find growth to be able to uh, make sure they de deliver employment. So, you know, holding back money is not an option. They have to go and look for money. They have to look at diaspora bond. They should look at green bond. They should look at refinancing the IMF loan. And, then, and you know, and so there are options, many, many options that they must explore because the, the fundamentals are, are right. Mm. And as you said, Professor, the fundamentals are positive right now for the country. Uh, but of course, Senegal still needs money. It has uh, various challenges, including uh, FX challenges. Now, given that we've seen this administration decide not to go ahead with that IMF program, what are your thoughts on whether this $300 million is enough right now uh, to support its FX and also its budget needs going forward? No, this 300 plus 750 is just over a billion. They can come back to the market next month. They can come back in two months' time. The fact is that there is confidence in their economy. And private sector are prepared. And for JP Morgan to be prepared to, to take this down, and it just shows that they are people are interested in this economy. And they will get whatever money they need. And in fact, what, what IMF can only delay, but not claw back. I don't see why you want to claw back and punish somebody for being honest. So I think um, they can talk to the bank and refinance, or, or even, um, you know, they can skip one or two quarters, but they, these guys are on the right track, and they should mm. not look for money. They, they should get whatever they want. Look at the projections on inflation. Inflation is very, very heavy. The inflation is, only, the food inflation is 1 minus 1.9%. Where is, when I say, where in Africa do you have that sort of very, very low food inflation? 
Our food inflation in Nigeria is almost over 30 something percent. And then if you look at the overall inflation, the CPI is 3.1 percent. Most African countries are over 20 percent. So Senegal is, is a tiger economy within African continent. And then so we should know that, uh, and they are doing their best. So they will get support wherever it comes from. I don't think they should uh, be scared of raising money. They will raise money from, from all kinds of sectors. Mm. Now, of course, as you said, the economy uh, is doing well, the outlook is good, but the reality is there are questions about stability because recently we saw President Faye uh, make that bold move to dissolve his parliament. Uh, that happened last month. What, is, what more do we know about that parliamentary race and how significant will the outcome be for this administration's economic ambitions and, of course, stability in the country? I think it will cancel out. When, when, you, when he did what he did, is about macroeconomic governance. And, and there are other things running on his mind that are not uh, likely to shake private sector confidence in that economy. So I think you will find out it will have a net zero impact on the macroeconomic fundamentals. Mm. Now, what do these uh, recent events mean? Because you mentioned earlier President Faye's $30 billion 25-year economic uh, and social development plan. What do these recent developments in the country mean for that plan? And how are they impacting a sentiment around this administration? Look, Senegal made very strong impression. To the, G, uh, to the BRICS summit, to the, uh, the folk up in China. So they have over, there are only areas where they can go and get more money. They are interested in their mining. They have very, very agile mining sector. They also have a very strong construction sector, even though the slight drop in the construction was what affected the forecast on growth. But they're bouncing back. So they have, uh, they have it on their fingers. And I think uh, we should look, then we should take a longer term view of that agile economy. Hmm. Well, certainly a positive outlook there, Professor. Thank you so much for your insights. Thank you for joining us on the show today.